had a long conversation with Kate Snyder just an hour before she went off that roof. I must have forgot. Forgot? Forget she fired you too? Where'd you get that? The day she died? She told Julie she gave you your walking stick. Come on, Gary. Take call, gave you the bad news. So you go over to her studio. Try and talk her out. Thanks, Priscilla, you're here. First I'm shot. She fired me. So what? I've been fired off jobs before. So? You weren't on the roof when she swung? I told you. I was home. Alone. Home alone to move not an alibi. Look. Maybe it was an accident. She was a little high. Kind of tipsy. Maybe you even tried to save her. Grabbed her by the arm. Never happened. We found your prints in her apartment. I used to sleep there. What about the marks on her arm? Wasn't me. What about the skin underneath her fingernails? You want to roll up your sleeves and show us your arms? Gary? We're going to get your DNA, and your DNA is going to put you on that roof. So you might want to tell us your side of the story before the lab's results come back. Because once there's a match, I don't know how much we can do for you with the DNA. Look, whatever happens, happens on the job. Okay? You're doing the smart thing here, Gary. As long as you guys understand that. That day, we were just joking around. You know, like old times. Anyway, one thing leads to another, and I end up kissing her. Only oh, she doesn't like that. She told me to stop. But you didn't. Not at first. Look, it kind of got physical, so she scratched me. But that's the only reason why my DNA, or whatever, would be under her fingernails. I didn't kill her. I swear.